So good morning, guys. Welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Busy, busy day on the farm. Oh, my word. So much going on. Hope you're doing well. This is a quick intro. First things first is I'm setting somebody up this morning to get me going with my strawberries because I'm going to be making strawberry jam later today, tonight, into tomorrow. So the first thing that we've got to do is we've got to cap these strawberries. Now, when I make jam, all I do is take off the very, very, very end, little as possible on the strawberry. I want to keep as much of this little pith, the, all that white in there, want to keep as much as you can for your strawberry jam, okay? Because that's going to be a thickening agent for you to help help it out. I don't add pectin and sure gel and all these things to when I, when I make a jam. It is just the berries, literally. Uh, it is just sugar. I use plain sugar. And then I do add a little bit of butter to keep the foam down. That is it. So you want to keep as much of that as you physically can. We've got a lot to do. <laughs> going to be a busy day. Strawberry time in Tennessee. Tweety, you gonna say hello to everybody, Tweety, sweetie? You ready for a busy day? We have so much to do, girlfriend. Huh? Say hello. <laughs> So welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Good morning. It's not really late because we've been doing so much, but we are feeding. But I want to say good morning to you. It has been a busy weekend, and I hope you're doing well, being busy, busy bees and getting everything ready for spring. That's what we're in the midst of doing right now. We're at the end of April, so it's time to really get everything going with the gardens and the yard and everything else in between. So we have a lot of little projects we have to do today in order to get to the big projects. I'm trying to beat rain is what I'm actually doing, which I know a lot of you uh, deal with that in terms of trying to till, plant, all of that. You gotta work with the weather, right? And there, hey, it monkeys with you, right? I know, so you gotta work with it, outsmart it. But welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing great. If you're a new subscriber, thank you for being here. So here's what I'm doing today. Obviously, we're doing our barn chores. Um, I'm going to milk later. I've got that off the slate this morning because I milked late last night. And um, so we're working on fencing. I'm, work I'm moving manure. Uh, we've got a weed eat and mow. I've got strawberry jam in the making. Um, we were able to go a couple of places this weekend. One was a commitment. Yesterday we went and took the day off. The afternoon really. Went to Sparta, Tennessee. Uh, it's a little bit, a little ways up from us, and but I have a seventh great grandfather on my father's side, doing a lot of my father's genealogy now, uh, that is buried there. He fought at Valley Forge uh, with Washington. I have all the information. I've been doing all the research for quite a while, but I've just never made it up there. You got to go up to Crossville, through Grandview, up to Crossville, and then we cut over, uh, over into Sparta. It's actually in Walling, not Wallen. That's in Blount County, Walling, Tennessee, and. Um, I thought it was going to be really difficult to find, but I did. it wasn't difficult at all. So I hope to take my dad back soon. I wanted to go locate it first before I take him. But I'm candling eggs. We have to move turkey mama today. We have fencing to put up. I'm moving rip and the weathers over to the big fields because guess what? I'm pretty confident we're about to have a bunch of goat babies. Now, these are going to be different mamas um, for the most part than the ones that gave birth back in November. Um, I've got two that got out. Uh, I don't know if they had a date with Rip or not, but I'm watching them. So uh, they would be later in the summer if they are bred. But I do know the ones that I put him with back in January. I kind of thought that would hold, but it just goes to show you how man plans and God laughs. So I've got a couple girls that we're watching. Uh, we have Great Pyrenees puppies coming at the end of the week. So we're having to move a lot of things, prep a lot of things, uh, in addition to all the planting and spring cleanup that we're doing. But we've waited to this time, and the, the warm weather is about to hit. Couldn't do all of it yesterday because it was so wet. So that's why we went on a little mini road trip. And I'm so glad James recommended it. So he's like, let's go. Let's have some fun this afternoon because the next month or so is going to be jammed. So busy, busy. We're going to take you along for the day, okay? We'll talk about things as we go. Come along. Tweety, what are you doing? Yes, ma'am. She is something else, y'all. She follows me around. She talks to you. She lets you know when she needs an extra treat. She is just wonderful, wonderful. Miss Miss Tweety is everybody's sweetie, honey. <laughs> Cochise, have you been partying really hard all night? Laying in the dirt, rolling in the dirt, son. My God. Goodness, what are you doing, baby? <laughs> are you hungover? 
Are you telling everybody you're my girlfriend? You're my sweet girlfriend. Look guys, her horns twisted out. This is good. They're not going into anything. So we're keeping an eye on them, aren't they? Miss Shosho's got babies. Yes, she is. This is my, this is my miracle baby we saved. Yeah. I know, you're ornery. She's so ornery, look at that, poofing up. All right, so we've got Miss Mama Mia here. <laughs> Today is day 21 from where I reset her, reset her, reset, not reset. reset she's resatting, but I reset her uh, with, remember the turkey eggs, and she's on two, two goose eggs. Now, I have not candled them in a, in a bit, but that's what we're doing. You got to be up in everything, don't you? You got, you just got to be all up in it. So what we're doing today is I've already cleaned out my main brooder trough is what I call it. So we're going to be moving it back up here. It's drying out right now. Hopefully to, by tonight, we're going to move her into the trough because she's going to be going into lockdown in the next two days. Uh, and uh, then we should start seeing some baby action. Well, by the end of the week, hopefully, fingers crossed. So like I said, touch and go. And, um, I better get up. She's, she's not taking this too well. Let me get up, y'all. Okay, honey. Okay, just simmer down. Once we get everything established, girlfriend, we're going to move you tonight. Yes. You'll have a brand new apartment, and then I can clean up all this junk. I See, I can't even get near it. See, I don't like this sitting here, but do you see what she does? And I don't want her to peck me an eyeball. <laughs> But mainly, I don't want her to break her eggs. So we're going to back away, back away from the mama. Ginger, are you having a tough morning? You've been very productive today, honey. Yes, you have. Oh, we need to brush that. What is this? Get, let me have that. Oh, it's a little kookaburra. It's like a little burr. Get that out of there. What you doing, beauty? All right. Oh, yeah. You don't want to play. You want to... You want to be petted, okay. Oh, my goodness. Listen to that purring in there. Oh, Gingy. What are you doing, honey? Oh, Gingy. Okay. The sun's not great. I mean, it's great, but you can't see me. We got to get rid of some of this. Uh, well, This is my redneck barn accessory line here. And uh, pallets and junk. Yeah, it makes it extra special. But we've got to move these into the field. Uh, so move these over for so I can let out all the mamas and the baby. Oh, we've got to have some broken broken side in here on the barn. A little red neckery, fitting in good. Um, got to move these <laughs> into the field. Um, I'm not. I'm going to move my pallets somewhere. We actually use pallets a lot for hay, so this is really not that red neckery. These things right here, they go on our. Um, I, I'm probably just going to get. What can I do with that? Make that into a planter? I don't know. I don't know how to repro. How can I repro? Make it into a wreath? We could make these into wreaths, but I don't use these in there uh, with my feed. It's just more to do. I just put the little lid on and snap it off. This locks them more in place. These are nice, but I could make a wreath. Y'all could be like DIY. Oh. Hi, sister. Are you going hunting? Huh? You going to bring it home, girlfriend? We're going to put it on the grill? There she goes. So I'm gonna stand over here away from the picnic table. A little bit better shade and the wind hopefully won't be as bad. It's getting very windy, it's a beautiful day. So I've gotta finish all my corn. A lot of y'all ask me about how I seed safe corn and how I dry it. Down here, we can dry it literally on the stalk in most cases. So I, I harvest what corn I want, how I want it. Um, and then I let it sit literally up until November, December into winter. Uh, and I just sort of gauge the weather. If we get a good dry spell for several, several days and they're dry, then I go ahead and pick them and store them. So this is the last haul that I did uh, from my harvest last year. So this is your Hickory King corn. And I love this stuff. I'm going to take a break this year from growing it because we're going to give the, we have made a decision to let the big, big major garden ground area, we're going to let it rest this year. 
I feel like we're gonna need it incredibly next year. So I'm moving everything down to my other gardens. I'm sort of doing a rotation, if you will. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that rest this year. That also gives me another paddock for my baby goats. So it works out really well. I still have plenty of corn for cornmeal or for seed saving. So what I'm gonna do is get my, I'm gonna take the husk off and then I'm gonna shell them, okay? either today or tonight, but I had to get them out of the wagon and move them out and it's all ready to go. It does great, it's beautiful. So you can bring your corn in and let it dry somewhere in your home or in your basement. A lot of people do that, old timers did that. But here what I do is I just let it dry on the stalk. I pick what I want as I go. Uh, and uh, a lot of the uh, farmers around here, what they'll do is they'll go through and they'll select a stalk so they've got like double ears and whatnot and they'll put a bag over them, right? keep the crows off to keep the raccoons out as much as they can so you have to do what works best for you but this system so far still works for us remember my garden is completely gated in fenced in and i have great pyrenees so critters don't tend to get to them as quickly as they used to because of the way we've got our fencing set you know set up here on this farm and that was by design so i can let my goats and my cows come into my major garden areas and harvest what they what we leave for them safely uh, also, they obviously put manure down uh, and they graze everything down. So that's how we rotate our system. I need 13 feet. Put down measure. Give me a second. Get back, girl. What are you doing? Well, we are going to have elderberries. And we are going to have elderberries. And we are going to have, every bit of this is elderberry. A lot of work to do. Okay, so if you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed with your gardening season, just know that I'm identifying with you. We are in this together. Remember, I did not do anything here last year. It has just sat, has rested. Now over there, I did my tomatoes, that one little patch. But the big garden is what I used last year. So we're rotating everything down to the two big gardens down here. So we're, it's gonna be busy. <laughs> Everything's coming back. Really, really pleased to see this. Okay. Woo, feel a burn, baby. Let's go, let's go. Ginger, are you worried about it, honey? She's not worried about it. Okay, real quick. All eggs have moving babies in them. We are on day 21. Um, one of the goose eggs does have a slight external crack, but their shells are so hardy, I'm not stressed. I saw definitely two turkey babies moving all around. The others look to be okay right now. Everybody's doing great. We got goosers in there, little babies, goslings. So when it gets dark, we're gonna move her tonight. We're gonna attempt to. If we don't get her moved tonight, we have to by tomorrow night. I like to wait until it starts getting dark. And then I will have everything set up in the trough over here. Let me show you. I'll have everything set up in the trough right here. And then I will quickly put her in. I will have it bedded down. I will put her in. I will have the eggs in. Um, and then I will put the trough. That's right, dude. I'll put some tops on and then she can relax in there. And then hopefully she's going to go into lockdown in the next two days. So 
So guys, I'm gonna finish out this video. It's an odd video. My videos might be a little bit odd for a week or two because it's that time of year where you're trying to catch up on everything, get everything done, get everything tilled, get everything prepped. We did get the fencing down over here and got the tomato garden that I'm gonna have this year because I'm rotating everything. We got it tilled and ready to go. This was supposed to already been done. Just so much going on. We still have to also go up and move Turkey Mama, maybe. She got off of her nest this afternoon and was like terrorizing everybody else. So <laughs> I've got her set up. I've got the, um, as you saw, I've got the actual, or I hope you see it. I hope my camera was filming. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Look here. So you just put it in there and I'm shelling it right now. But here's the deal. This time of year is very busy. It takes us actually, honestly, for me to get the homestead, the gardens, um, the beddings, the mowing, the, the spring cleanup, Honestly, it always usually takes me about a good month because every time you work outside, you work in the barn, you know, work with your animals, plant your garden, all of these things, you still have all of the indoor things to do, the laundry to do, the cooking to do, the cleaning to do. Now, granted, I'm fortunate that all, I've got my husband and my boys help and they've done a lot today. We have done a lot. I think I'm sunburned. But here's the deal. So we got Rip. For now, we got Rip and the Weathers moved. We separated them from the mamas, the babies, and the pending mamas, right? Pending mamas. So all of that was done. We tended to multiple places in our fences that we had to tend to and get them uh, lined up. We've mowed most of the property. We are weed eating. We're taking down fencing around the gardens. We're tilling. I am trying to get all of my manure down here. We've been burning, so all the, the fire, I like to burn so I can get wood ash. I have some inside as well, but I like to get as much wood ash as I possibly can so that I can put that in with my um, homemade fertilizer. Checking this out checking this out and making sure that everything is on the move but it's like this it's like you know when you go through a time period where you're getting everything fixed up I didn't like that one um you know you have the issue of time you have the issue of rain uh what if you have another little winter everything changes so I got my rabbits all cleaned up and hi Fritz I've got my rabbits all cleaned up. I've got their nails all trimmed. As you know, we did not have baby bunnies. Um, she clearly wasn't bred. That's okay. We'll do it again. I'm not, I don't stress about stuff like that. I always look at it as when God wants me to have babies or wants me to have a new Pyrenees puppy or whatever, he's going to bring it to me on his timing and I just have to be patient and wait. That's going to be some good cornmeal on that one. Look at that. That is a beauty right there. So, like I said, so planting, as long as I've got my garden in, in my opinion, by or around Mother's Day, which is two weeks from today, I'm going to be doing great. So I'm going to be concentrating. Oh, Ginger. <laughs> I'm going to be concentrating on various types, a couple types of tomatoes. I'm not going to go super crazy. I really want some really good sandwich and canning tomatoes. And I'm going to have also um, the Husky or the Tommy Toes cherry tomatoes. I love having those. Um, so I've got a whole plot for that. Of course, my potatoes. I'm going to grow one green bean this year. I'm going to do my Missouri Wonders on my tunnel that you've seen in the past. Huge tunnel. I'm also going to grow um, some squash. I might throw some zucchini out there because we love to make like those foil packs. So we're going to be doing that. Cucumbers, yes. Basil, yes. Um, and green peppers. I'm still debating if I'm going to put out some pumpkins. I'm not doing corn this year. I'm getting all of that a rest. So everything is down here. Of course, I still have my elderberry. I still have my blackberries. 
So I'm really trying to tighten it up. I didn't go as far out with also doing uh, my greens. I didn't do my onions this, this time. I'm not doing my corn. Of course, I'll also plant zinnias and cosmos. So I'm really, cosmos, the bright lights, co bright lights cosmos. I was talking fast. If you're gonna knock the camera over, Fritz, the cats are right here. So I'm really trying to tighten it up. I want to have things that we can have ready for fresh eating, um, also for basic canning, tomatoes, peppers, um, you know, a couple of herbs. I want to grow my herb garden more, but so I'm trying to, as far as my actual, what I would consider my garden goodies, um, I'm just, I'm really honestly going for a solid five, seven, eight things, and that's it. When I start doing all these other things, it's like I get lost in translation. Okay, I mean, we've done cantaloupes. We did watermelon every every day uh, for the last year, every season for the last three or four years. Um, we've done onions. Uh, we've done sweet potatoes. So this year, I decided just to streamline it, cut it back a little bit, and focus. Because we have a ton of other projects that we have to still be doing, right? The property. Um, remember that woodshed we were supposed to build, build last summer? Mm-hmm got pushed off. So that's already the hot, that's the high point. That's, that's the main goal of what we want to do. So what you have to do is you have to be realistic in going, okay, I'm milking goats. I'm raising kids. I'm cooking. I'm cleaning. I'm working. I'm mowing, you know, and then you, you have to think of all the things that you eat versus do you really like them? I mean, is it really worth your time? I'm not focusing on strawberries this year. I'm focusing on blackberries and raspberries. Those are the berries. Strawberries and blueberries, not so much. They just don't do as well here. They do in small areas, but to expand out, I just decided not to do that because blackberries flourish here. So what are you good at? What do you like? What makes sense? Does that make sense? Do I make sense? Probably not. So that is what we're doing. I should be making my strawberry jam right now, but I'm not. So I'm not going to stress about it. I'm going to do it first thing in the morning, get it in the canner and move on. Okay. If, if it takes, if things take an extra day or two or a week, don't sweat the small stuff. This is part of the lifestyle, right? I mean, because something always happens. We had fencing we didn't expect to fix today, right? Moving this to there and moving this back and putting this took an extra 30 minutes. And there's only so much time in the day. But the focus is, is not to wear yourself out. Try to keep a level head about it and just pick back up tomorrow. It all works out in the end. I will tell you that this time of year, I put a lot of pressure on myself, right? I know a lot of you probably do too, because you it will get done. Just keep moving every single day. Come back to the drawing board and, get, and go, you know, what did I get done? Okay, good, 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 good. Now, what can I accomplish today? And before you know it, in just a couple of weeks, you're going to have everything done. Okay? All right, guys. Well, I appreciate you watching. We're going to have a lot of videos coming up. As soon as we continue to get things a little bit more cleaned up and planted and all of these things, we'll do more videos with gardening and how we do all of that. Um, but this is the time of year where we move into that. I know a lot of other folks have already planted and done that, but I have found out the hard way that if I get too anxious too early in April, we get bit in the butt. And somebody's flying in. All right, guys, like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for being here. Hope you've had a wonderful weekend. A lot of videos coming your way. I'm losing daylight. <laughs> Everybody's inside eating, so I, mom, ate, mom ate first. So she could come out here and work. Mama's working hard. All right, guys, I appreciate you. I'm not sure about this one. I don't think so. That one got a little funky cold Medina. Let's try another one. Guys, I love you. Godspeed, God bless. Be peaceful, be praying, be prepping. Stay busy, and I'll see you on the next video.